Before I share with you another drawing tool, let's, let's take a moment to uh, think about knowledge being holographic or knowledge being expandable. I've talked a bit about that in the previous module, but I just wanna give you a couple of visuals now to, to, to think about the expansion of knowledge. So first of all, um, your framework can be summarized in a single word. You can, you know, later we're gonna, we're gonna try that out. Or your framework can be written out as 20 books and you still wouldn't have covered your entire framework, right? That's the nature of knowledge. Your framework is like, well, let me go ahead and show you on the screen here. Your framework is like an accordion, yay. <laughs> Found this beautiful accordion there. And it's just like an accordion. You could stretch it out, you can collapse it, and it's the same instrument, right? Just in different formats. Same thing with your framework. You can say it as one paragraph, or you can say it as a PhD thesis, and you'll still never cover enough of it. And so that's why we use visuals to represent uh, our framework, because knowing each, each part of the visual can be an entire lecture, right? Or each part of the visual can be broken out into additional visuals, right? So your framework, uh, another way of looking at it is if knowledge is, is, is like a fractal. What's a fractal? You can go and Google fractals. And fractals are infinitely complex patterns that are self-similar across different scales. It's truly remarkable and amazing. So some of the common examples of fractals and fractals in nature are branches of a tree, you know, animal circulatory systems, snowflakes, lightning and electricity, plants and leaves, geographic terrain. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, it, uh, those who have, you know, studied the universe and molecules will notice that, oh my God, the, the entire universe is basically a fractal, right? How is, how, how a, solar system, how a galaxy is formed is surprisingly similar to how molecules, subatomic particles are create, are, are, are look like. It's like, is there something going on here? The, the entire thing is a fractal? Well, that's what, a, that's what knowledge is. Knowledge is a fractal. If I say a single word, right? Let's say I'm a relationship coach. A single word can summarize my entire framework, communication, the entire thing communication, right? If you get good at communication, you'll get good at relationships, right? But communication, say more. Of course I can say more. You know, I can say communication is broken out into mindfulness about your reactions and um, awareness of, of, of re you know, reframing the other person's statements and blah, 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 you know, all, all these different things. It's expanded out, infinitely expanded out. So as you continue creating your framework, just know that there is never an end to your framework uh, development. That's why I always tell you, it's an iterative process that goes on forever. You don't get done with your framework. You, don't, you never get done. And you never are, your framework is never bad. It's also brilliant. Your framework is never not ready because whatever state it is in, you can spin it into, you know, even, okay, let me go ahead and show you, right? This thing, I was Google Jamboard, you know, I was playing around with this, right? Um, let me go ahead and zoom out. <clears throat> you might say, George, your framework is not ready. I can say, okay, the only thing I'd probably, uh, I'm just gonna say, let's say I had five minutes before I had to present to my clients this framework. Like, oh my God, my framework is not ready. No, no, I'm just gonna make it ready by selecting this thing and deleting it. Cause what is, what is, what does that mean? It doesn't make any sense. And I'm just gonna make, make a single placement. Okay, I have, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and present. Okay, maybe, maybe I'll erase that little, um, that little weird, weird thing. Okay, I don't know what that means. I'll, I'll erase that, okay. Now my framework is ready to present. You can say, really? Yes, because I'm gonna spin this into something that's ready. I'm saying, hey everyone, I'm gonna present to you my mindfulness framework, my relationship framework. It starts with mindfulness of your reactions and it's more like a tree and I could zoom in. I could zoom in on this part and says, let's think about this as a tree. And then I'll talk about the branches. I'll talk about your framework is never not ready. You just got to be confident enough to spin the shit as a presentation. Well, that's, that's what people do in corporate. Why can't you do it as a solopreneur? People, people speak, take, talk shit all the time in corporate presentations, right? Just spinning whatever. The reason I'm saying this is, I'm, you know, of course, I'm being really uh, lax about it, but, but, but I'm, I'm doing it to the extreme to show you that, that truth and knowledge is all spin. It's all spin. What's truth? Can anybody speak the truth? 
Yes and no. Truth can never be spoken. That's, that's true. And truth is spoken all day long, all across the world. People are speaking truth, quote unquote. So I'm just, I'm just wanting you, I just hope one of the key sort of embodied moves that you'll make in this course is to realize that you can make up shit. And as long as you sound confident, people will believe it. I just made that up, by the way. It's not made up. I mean, you've heard, you've heard that all your life. But uh, every author, every best-selling author, every framework creator, every speaker, every teacher, they sound so confident. They're just talking shit because not, nothing, no, no truth can, can be communicated perfectly, right? It's all shit, right? It's all, sorry, sorry, but I, I want to be extreme about this because it's true. I've made an entire career making up shit. And, and so have many of you. Now, uh, you might not think it's shit because you got a certification in it. What the hell is a certification? <laughs> what the hell is a PhD? Some, 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 usually a guy, right? Making up shit and then doing research, which is other people's shit. And then basically saying, well, I've, I've looked at 50 shits and, and now there, here's my shit. And you better believe it because I looked at 50 shits before I told you this. Of course, you know, research is disproven all day long. Like our, our understanding of the laws of, the laws of physics, like how can you get more secure than the laws of physics? The gravity, gravity, how does gravity work? Laws of physics are being overturned every decade, at least in parts of it. It's like, well, we didn't understand this about the universe. My God, the, the gravity doesn't actually work with gravitons. It actually works something, really even gravity is being questioned? Well, then, then how can you say your knowledge and your framework isn't ready? Who the hell is to say that? You're only you. Can, can nullify your own framework. Knowledge is whatever you call it. So I hope this little pep talk will encourage you to just present your shit and just sound confident. Now, how do you sound confident? You practice. You practice in front of your friends and say, I'm going to tell you some shit, but I'm going to try to sound confident because this is what I understand this point. You're not, when I say shit, I don't mean that you're giving people things that you think are, are crappy, right? But what I'm saying is that you understand what truth is and it's all just representations. It's all representations. It's all just from your angle. It's from what you understand at this point. And as long as you sound confident, look confident, just like I do right now, you'll believe me. Or I can go like, I don't know. Um, I, I, I just came up with this just a minute ago and, uh, I hope you don't mind. Now, now you don't think it's truth. You see what I mean? So I'm just giving you the secret of <laughs> knowledge communication. And if you sit with this and sleep on it, it, it might just change your life. So hope this helps. And um, I was just, uh, every teacher you respect and admire is talking shit in the absolute sense of the term. Even Lao Tzu, right? talking shit because the, and he knew that the very first, you know, couple of stanzas of the, 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 the Tao De Jing said, you know, the Tao, which can, can be named is not the Tao. He understood everything I'm going to say in this whole book is just talking shit, but it's hopefully shit that will help you think about your own shit and therefore produce better shit in the world. So and hope that helps. <laughs>